friends, Ruth Hamblin here, and welcome back to my vlog. All right, today I'm going to share with you all a bit of the backstory of what actually happened during my first day in Bangkok. Let's just start by rewinding the footage to where things got a little out of hand. <laughs> Almost, yep, right there, stop. I need to find somewhere with a cold bevy and air conditioning. So yes, as of here, I'm in a back alley, just finished eating my little crispy banana chips, was exhausted, needed a coffee and some air conditioning. So I made my way out of the alley that I was currently in and turned right and was just planning on continuing down the street until I found a cafe. Seemed simple enough. However, nearly immediately after I turned right out of this alley, a local man stopped me. He was really nice and friendly and was like, oh, I'm just gonna pause this right here and apologize dearly if I happen to go into a bit of an accent. At any time during this story, it is not intended to offend and also, if it's completely inaccurate, I'm aware I'm the worst human being at accents. So please just, just go with the flow and let me, let me tell this story. Okay, I love you all. This gentleman stopped me and was like, hello. Actually, I'm pretty sure it started with some comment about my height. Like every single conversation that happened during my whole trip of Thailand and my whole life now that I think about it. But anyways, so he was asking me where I was from and was super nice asking me what I had seen so far. And so I told him what I had seen and kind of the little trail that I had ended up meandering during my day so far. And he was like, oh, have you seen this? And I was like, no, I haven't seen that. He's like, oh, you must go see that. I was like, okay, okay. And he's like, oh, what about Big Buddha? Have you seen Big Buddha? And I was like, no, I haven't seen Big Buddha. He's like, oh, you must go see Big Buddha. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll, I'm like making a note of this in my phone. And he's like, oh, see this river? This river goes all the way around the city. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. Must see sunset. You watch sunset from river. I was like, oh yeah. That sounds really nice. Like I might have to make my way up there and then I can catch the sunset along this river. And he's going on. He's like, oh, what about fashion district? Do you like fashion? I was like, I suppose I do. He's like, oh, you go to fashion district, clothes, everything, everything you could want. I was like, wow, cool. Picturing just like a market with a bunch of clothes. Like, sure, might as well check that out. And so I thanked him for all this information. I was about to go on my way. And he's like, oh, I take you. And I was like, what? <laughs> he said, sure enough, there's a tuk-tuk parked right on the side of the street there that I should have made note of about 10 minutes previous to this. I was like, oh shoot, I'm about to get scammed into a tuk-tuk here. And so I was like, oh no, it's okay, like I'll walk. He's like, no, 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 I take you, I take you all this tour for a hundred baht. And I was like, okay, hundred baht, that's like four Canadian dollars as I roughly calculated in my head. I was like, you know what, that's actually not that bad of a deal. I was like, wait, so you're gonna take me here? to Big Buddha, to here and to the to water, all for a hundred baht. He's like, yes, yes, I take you. I was like, why the heck not? So I hopped in his tuk-tuk. <laughs> it all just happened so fast. I mean, from going from wanting to sit down and just like chill to riding in a tuk-tuk on this grand adventure tour with this man that I just met. I was like, well, win in Thailand. So riding in this tuk-tuk, it was a great experience. I was like, okay, this is really fun. Zipping around down the streets, chaos through the Bangkok traffic, although he seemed to know what he was doing. And we get to the Big Buddha and he pulls in. He's like, okay, you pay here. And so I paid the guy, he came over and he drove me in. I get out, he's like, I wait for you. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll see you in a few minutes. And so I go in, I check out Big Buddha, walk around the temple, kind of just enjoy myself, see another little temple right beside it, walk around it, I'm like, wow, this is great. Come back out, sure enough, there's my man waiting for me in his tuk-tuk. And so, hop back on in, this mystery tour continues. Now he's talking, he's like, oh yes, I take you fashion district. He's like, you you like suit? You have suit? Yeah, I know I don't really wear suits. He's like, oh, we, they make you custom suit. You're very tall, very tall. You could you could have suit that fits you well. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Just kind of like laughing him off. Like, sure, okay, I'll go to this fashion district and just, you know, whatever, continue my tour. And so he's like, yes, yes, you get suit. It'll be very good, very good. And I was like, sure. <laughs> Okay. While he's explaining all this, I'm picturing just like a big indoor market with like a bunch of vendors selling clothes instead of like the food that I had seen. I was like, okay, this is cool. Like maybe I can buy a pair of those elephant pants or something, you know? And so he pulls up and we're like in some industrial area of Bangkok, like just 
non-branded buildings. I pull up to this one building, he's like, oh, right in there? I was like, oh boy, what is about to happen? And so, grab my backpack, head on in. There's about six guys sitting around a table. As soon as I walk through the door, this one man pops up and he's like, oh, come in, takes me by the hand, pulls me into a back room. I'm like, what is going on? There's fabric everywhere, so I felt kind of safe. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is actually a suit shop, but still. And there's magazines everywhere. He's like, okay, so we're making you a suit. I'm like, uh, we are? <laughs> he grabs a stack of magazines, hands them, he's like, oh, see what you want, see what you want. I was like, oh, okay, sure. So I'm just like sitting there flipping through every single page of this magazine while he tries to sell me a suit, humoring him. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna buy a suit in Thailand. I really just wanna continue my 100 baht tuk-tuk tour at this point and go to the river. And so I'm flipping through, get through a few magazines, and he's like, oh, like we could get you navy blue. Navy blue would look very good on you. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. I'm sure it would look great. So he's selling to me and he shows me, he's like, we have special deal today. I'm like, oh, lucky me. What are the odds that you have a special deal going on today? He shows me this number. He's like, this is what it normally is, but I give for you. And it was like cut in price from like 22,000 baht to 12,000 baht. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Just, yeah, I'm probably not gonna buy a suit. Like, didn't tell him that, but this is my inner dialogue at this point. I was like, oh, wow, great deal. I'm flipping through the magazines. I'm like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> just, just playing along, trying to get out of there as soon as possible. He's like, oh, let's see the fabric on you. So he's like, stand, come, 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 stand up. So he has me stand up and he drapes his fabrics over me, a nice navy blue on this side of black. He's like, see the blue? I told you the blue is very good. You should have the blue. I was like, oh yeah. Just, just what I need, a blue suit. So we make you a suit today, we make you a suit. I was like, well. At this point I was like, ah, oh, get me out of here. Like somebody send help. I need to think about it. I was sitting down, I was kind of stressed actually. I was like, ah, oh, this man just needs to leave me alone. He's like, okay, okay, just, just for you. And he gets really quiet and he shows me this price and I'm like, oh. And like just thinking like, you know, I could buy like a ill-fitting suit jacket at Long Tail Sally for that price. And here I could have a custom made suit. So why not? <laughs> and so I said, sure, let's do this. <laughs> Just, yeah, something came over me and I was like, I'm gonna buy a suit. Such a good deal, might as well win in Thailand. I stood up and I pointed to the magazine. I was like, this is the one I want. And he's like, okay. And he starts measuring me. So I get all measured up. The last measurement that he took, he had to show the tape measure on me and take a picture of it just to prove to the designers that I actually exist and that this is not some absurd miscalculation of measurements and that a human being this long is out there. I paid for my suit. Of course, on the way out, he decided to sell me a, a shirt, like a button up white shirt. And at that point, he just really wore me down. I was like, sure, <laughs> might as well. You know, it's no point having a suit if you don't have a nice shirt to wear underneath it. So I bought a shirt too. And he threw in a free tie, so, I mean, I was like, okay man, I'm leaving in a day and a half. He's like, oh, when do you come back tomorrow? I was like, well, I'm done my tour around like 3.30, I can drop by here. It's like, we will have it finished. And I was like, okay, at this point, this is less than 24 hours away. I was like, okay, well, we're gonna see. And so I paid my money and walked back outside. And there was my tuk-tuk driver waiting for me. And so the next day after all my tours, I stopped at the suit shop to pick up my suit. Tried it on, fit like a glove. Oh, by the way, I've got it in my closet here. I suppose I should show y'all. Here we go. <laughs> Haven't even opened it since coming back yet. Ended up going with the navy blue after all. Turns out it's a great color for me. I suppose I should put this on so you can see how fantastic I look in my new suit. Ladies and gentlemen, how do I look? <laughs> and so yes, I now am the owner of a custom tailored suit. And so the fact that I don't work in an office nor have a reason to ever wear a suit, nor plan on having to work in an office within the next five to 10 years, with all that aside, I look pretty darn good, don't I? <laughs> Not sure when I'm gonna use it. I might have to get creative, you know? I mean, it fits so good. Just don't be surprised if you show me like rocking up to church or the grocery store in a nice suit, okay? I just gotta, gotta get my miles in it. I need to just breathe. 
Oh yes, it's so classy. I don't even know what to do with these. Anyways, that's my story for today, folks. Just a fun lesson to share with y'all in case you don't wanna to go to Thailand and come with a custom suit, or maybe you do. Maybe this is a tutorial. You're about to book the next flight because you need some nice threads for your office job that you don't work, like me. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. As you know, it's always an adventure when Ruth is around, especially when Ruth is left unattended in a foreign country. It's a dangerous combo, folks. I'm sure I'll find a use for this suit one of these days here. Hopefully it still fits by then, but there's more Thailand adventures coming up for you guys. Make sure you hit subscribe. Don't miss the next episode. Hit that bell to get that notification and I'll see you there. Ruth, what are you doing? Somebody save me, somebody help me.